G'day guys, back again with another five minute Bidal Binner review. What have we got today? We've got the little Emacs Baby Hawk R Racer. This thing looks fantastic. I love these little micros, so I stuff around. We'll get in the bench, have a quick look, then we'll take it out for a spin. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna have a real quick look at this thing on the bench. A little handy little option. This you got a couple of screws in the bottom, and you can lift the bonnet up. How cool is that? So this is the bind and fly version. We've got an FR Sky receiver here. Underneath that, your VTX, 40 channel, 25 to 200 milliwatt. Flight controller, which is the AE Emacs F3 Magnum, which is Omnibus firmware. Below that, you've got your 12 amp 4 one ESC, which connects to your 1106, 600, or 6000 kV motors. And uh, it looks pretty awesome. Great little camera at the front, which I'll just pop out so we can actually see it. It comes with the Fox here Micro Arrow. So a really decent camera in this little thing. Can't wait to fly this. So uh, let's get out and have a look and uh, we'll come back with a conclusion. Get okay, it guys, back again. Out in a nice Australian bush with the Baby Hawk R this time. So we're gonna give this thing a fang around the bush, see how it goes. Does that and help Trevor when someone's doing this in the background? Yeah, it's great. Come in, come in. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we've got a couple of dickheads around us. Oh, no, Stu, yeah, well, same thing. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to give it a fang. See, it's a beautiful looking little thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's like what size props are they? Two inch, uh, two, two and a half. Inch, I think. Do you want me to ask that again? Oh, it's smaller than I thought. That's the first time I've actually seen one of those. It looks like, it reminds me of like a mini beetle. Yeah. It's tiny, isn't it? Yeah. These props are that small, they're about as big as your Duke. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll beat that bit out. <laughs> anyway, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, there's probably be a beep in this one. This is the uh, second battery I've put through this. The first one I tried was a 3S battery, it was 500 milliamp 30C battery. Really sucked the juice out of it really quick. I got about a minute 20 second flight time out of it. And uh, look, the flights were okay, nothing startling. Um, so I thought I'd try the 4S. The one I'm using now is a uh, still 500 milliamp, but 65C graphene battery. And uh, it's really fanging around now. A uh, lot better to fly, a lot more fun. Um, if you want something to do, so yeah, look, put a 3S on it. This is the sort of thing I think anyone can fly again. It's really easy to fly, stable straight out of the box. This is the sort of thing you take down at your lunchtime, in your lunchbox even, and uh, fly it around a park. Just a couple of batteries, have a bit of fun with it. Uh, I don't think this is going to intimidate anyone because it's so small. Uh, you probably just don't think you have to worry about it. Someone swat it on you. I think it was a fly. But, uh, a lot of fun to fly. I can highly recommend this. But on a 4S, I did find the 3S batteries uh, really a bit lackluster. Right, well, let's land this thing and uh, we'll come up with the results and uh, let you know what we think. Well, we just took this thing for a fang. Hope the DVR comes out because it went really well. Look, on a 3S, it was a little bit uh, short, as in uh, went okay, but uh, on a 4S, the thing fanged and uh, got a lot more flight time out of it. So, great thing, fun to fly, but a bit windy today, but uh, other than that, pretty good. So, this is another winner, guys. Uh, I really like this. So, if you're into little tiny bugs like this, this thing's a treat. Stick it in your pocket and away you go. But take a 4S. The 3S is just a little, little bit slow, I think. Another winner.